I get it. It's a plant. Plants can't learn. They can't feel things like us. They don't have memories like we do. This is something we've been told our entire lives. But what if I told you that my Venus flytrap is learning? Exactly one year ago, today, I bought eight baby flytraps. They're called cultivars, which means that each one of them has something special about them. Little did I know just how special one of them would be. Scarletine. This is her now. She has these beautiful streaks of purple on her green leaves, and compared to back then, not much has changed except for something we can't see. The thing is, when I first got her, she would never close her mouth around flies. This usually only happens to fly traps that have deformed trigger hairs like tiger teeth here. These can't really tell that something is touching it, so the trap just doesn't close. There's also other types of cultivars whose mouths literally can't close even if their trigger hairs are completely fine. But as you can see, Scarletine's hairs are straight and healthy and her traps aren't deformed. So there must be something else going on, especially because her traps do work perfectly fine. Yet, this might make someone think, well obviously the fly just hasn't touched the trigger hairs yet. And that's what I thought at first too, until you notice that this fly is standing right on top of one. Now usually, trigger hairs need to be touched twice within 20 seconds of each other before the trap will close. Yet, seeing as this fly has been standing on top of this trigger hair for 40 seconds, it's more than enough to make a trap close, yet she doesn't at first. This is the first video I ever got of her moving her trap around her food, and ever since this day, she has tried to eat every single fly that has landed on her traps. You see, for some reason, she has finally, I don't know, learnt what her trigger hairs are used for. And as you'll find out, she just keeps learning how to get better and better at catching her food. Now, unlike her first attempt that you just saw, that took her over 40 seconds before she closed, I gave her a second chance at catching something to eat. And this time, she closed immediately, twice in a row. Now, although she's just learned how her trigger hairs work and when to close, any bug could easily escape from these big gaps here. The thing is, this was still only two months after I got her, so in my mind, she was just missing her catches like fly traps usually do, and so I just kept giving her more opportunities to get some food. I didn't realize what was going on until I watched all of these videos a month later, so I'm actually going to test her again to see if she still remembers everything she is about to learn and as you can tell she's starting to get close at actually catching her first ever meal this is the crazy part she's trying really hard here not only has she learned how to close and when to close but she's just learned how tightly she needs to curl around her food all she needs to do now is actually close her traps quicker than what she has been doing so that they can't escape and she should be able to catch something Now you might think that this is it, but she still needs to learn probably the most important part of hunting as a fly trap. This is the exact same trap as before. You can even see the same fly here, but if she uses the same tactics, she won't be as lucky as the first time. And I think what really proved this to her is that she tried the same tactics again, but still had no luck. However, it wasn't until this attempt that she learns how powerful her biggest weapon would be. Remember how I said that short teeth makes it quite difficult for fly traps to catch their food? Well, that doesn't mean they can't use their nectar. One of the best fly traps we have in the greenhouse, Dracula, can hypnotize and magically control flies with his nectar like we saw in the flytrap games. And even though he has short teeth, he never misses his catches because of how good he is with his nectar. So good in fact, 
but he rose to the top of the leaderboard with this tactic. Regardless, being fast is still important, but long tooth traps can get away with just being fast. But I think using your nectar so well that you don't even have to rush is kind of insane to see. However, she learned these five lessons one year ago. Venus flytraps go dormant over winter, which means that they don't grow or really eat anything. And has she really learned anything if she can't remember all of this one year later? Well, over the past week, I have been giving her some opportunities to catch some food. And honestly, I am very surprised at the tactics she is now using. I gave her two days to try and catch something. And this is the very first thing she did. Her trap is still moving pretty slow, but is this still the same tactic as before? Get the fly interested enough in the nectar so that you just don't have to rush. Or is it something else? Well, it might be this tactic, seeing as this green fly went straight for her nectar. However, her nectar in this trap was either too weak to keep it interested or the fly was just more aware than the last one. She's now tied 1-1 to the flies, yet this is when she starts to show off. When you catch a fly, you're supposed to move very slowly so that they can't see you. However, fly traps usually move very fast to catch their flies, but not Scarletine. This tactic is so similar to Dracula's from earlier Except she is much slower than him. So slow in fact that I don't even think this fly realizes what's going on. And the most insane part is how she's able to almost control the fly into just not even trying to escape. But this? This isn't even the best one. The very next day, she kind of picks her victim. I get it, it's a plant, they can't pick things, but this whole video is about how she is learning, so yeah, she kind of picks her victim as you'll see. This blue fly walks under this cloth, which is actually full of traps that I don't want flies to touch, as I don't really want to overfeed her. Regardless, none of those traps catch it as it walks back out the other side. Not only that, but this guy ends up in this trap and she doesn't close. Maybe she realizes that it would be too big for that trap? Regardless, this is the part where I really think she's starting to pick her meals. Remember like 20 seconds ago when the green fly escaped getting caught? Well, we have another green fly here, but what's different? Before, the green fly went straight to the nectar, yet this one isn't interested at all. And what's more is that we know this fly tasted the nectar as they taste through their feet, and this fly's feet is on the nectar band. So is it possible that she's changed her nectar so that the quicker green flies wouldn't be interested? And has she changed it in such a way that only the slow gray flies want some because not only did she catch one earlier but she's got another one right here this video was going to be me showing off a new plan to add to the flytrap games but it ended up in me finding out that this flytrap could be learning i thought it was all coincidence at first but after researching a bit some people truly believe that plants can learn and have even done studies on it i'm not too sure what i think but i hope that you found this interesting enough to at least leave a like and comment what you think and if you'd like to learn more about carnivorous plants please consider subscribing and maybe watch the video on screen as the YouTube algorithm thinks you'd enjoy it. I'll see you then.